Friends and family of former Canadian child star Corey Haim said farewell at a funeral near Toronto today. About 200 people attended the funeral, paid for in part by donations. Haim died last week in Los Angeles at the age of 38 of a suspected drug overdose. He was best known for a string of films in the 1980s, including Lucas, The Lost Boys, and License to Drive. The actor's friends are planning a memorial service in Los Angeles. You may remember him from iconic 80s films that catapulted other young actors to stardom, but Corey Haim never quite made it. His drug addiction got in the way, not only of ending his career, but also his life. Haim was laid to rest today where he grew up full of dreams in Ontario. A private family funeral for a very public life. Family and friends gathered for an invitation-only funeral service for actor Corey Haim in Thornhill, north of Toronto today. Corey, Corey. Although we won't know for weeks the final results of a toxicology test and the coroner's report, we do know the 1980s teen heartthrob died of pulmonary congestion last Wednesday after collapsing in his mother's Los Angeles apartment. 35-year-old Jennifer Madden has had a crush on Haim since she was 13. The nurse from Philadelphia calls herself a super fan she actually drove nine hours north to toronto for the event i wasn't going to come at first and because i don't want to disrespect the family and i know that it's private and i had a feeling i wouldn't be able to get in i wasn't going to try to force my way in or anything but as long as i was like near where it was then that's all i needed family friend heather like once dated Haim. they met in 2001. corey had times where he was up and down it was no secret he didn't keep it a secret either he was open he was very candid about it and you know we all have battles we don't have cameras in our faces he did all his like his entire life but this was a really good time like he was doing well a lot of friends and family but no celebrity sightings today at corey Haim's funeral but there will be a public memorial in los angeles in two weeks an early police report pointed to a drug overdose as a possible cause of death and Haim's name has been linked to an illegal and massive prescription drug ring but for anyone attending today it was about the boy they remembered and the man they knew. Andrea Case, CTV News, Toronto.